Yo WhatsApp developers Sutha Career welcome back to another video in this video i'll show you five basic github tips that every fresher developer must know so without any further delay let's get started github is a online platform where developers host and share their code it works with git a version control system so you can collaborate and code with others whether it's a solo project or a teamwork github makes sure that your project stay safe and organized before we move further you have to make sure that you have installed git in your system so if you don't know you have installed git in your system then simply go to your terminal and type git dash v so this will show the git version if it is installed then if it is not then you can go to git's documentation and you can install for your system now if you want to initialize a repository in github then you can follow these steps simply create a folder in whatever name you want the repository so let's type repo sample 1 now go to that folder and open vs code now let's add some files in it let's add some sample files of txt okay So over here we can see that we are getting two options publish to github and initialize repository now click on initialize repository then you can commit your changes let's say initial commit and now click on commit and publish branch so now we have two options public uh, publish to github private repo and publish to github uh, public repo So the only difference between both is in private repo uh everyone cannot access your repository until and unless you allow them and in public repo everyone can access your repository with the link so yeah that's the only difference now let's click on public and click on publish branch so we have successfully created the repository now let's go to our github account and refresh so there we go we can see the repository which is created over here now after creating your repository you should also know how to push your changes to the repository and how to get the changes made by your team to your repository to your system so first let's see how to push our changes to the repository so first let's make some changes in our file my initial commit one so here we can see that this changes are made so now let's push this changes so for that you have to type git add full stop then after that you have to type git commit inside this you have to add the commit message whatever you want so let's add my second commit now after that you have to finally type git push origin main so with this we have successfully pushed our code to the repository so now let's go to the repository So yeah, we can see our changes are made in this repository. Whenever your teammates make changes in your repository or in your uh, in a repository where you are working, then you have to pull those changes to your system. So let's see how to pull those changes. Now here we can see that these changes are not reflecting in our system. So in order to reflect those changes, we have to type git pull. origin main so, yeah now it's reflecting now once you know how to push and pull changes now you are ready to work in a collaboration team in a common repository with your team so now let's see how to clone repository so for cl for cloning a repository you have to come to this section and click on code then copy this url and after copying that url you have to go to a destiny wherever you want to 
have that repo. So let's open terminal from here. Now type git clone and paste the, uh, that URL which we have copied. So now click on enter. There we go. We have successfully cloned that repository. So now let's open that repository on VS Code. So there we go. We can change, we can see those changes. Now you know how to commit, how to pull and how to clone a repository. This much tips are enough for a fresher developer in order to work in a collaboration with a team. So now I will show you how to create a portfolio, a GitHub portfolio like mine with these stylings. So for this, you have to simply follow these steps. First of all, go to GitHub, readme generator. Then after that, you have to click any of these links. So let's click this one. Let's type a GitHub username. Now you can follow these instructions and at the end, it will give you a code. So after that, what you have to do is create a repository with your username like this. Then you have to commit those changes to your GitHub. And it's really very important to have the repository name as same as your username. If it doesn't matches, then this won't happen then these changes will not come. That's it. These are the five tips which a fresher developer must know. So I hope you like this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and also make sure to hit the subscribe button and comment down your topic in which you want the next video. Until the next video, goodbye.